Hello everybody, welcome to this video, another in the two minute revision series. I'm going to go through war photographer, some of the points on structure that I think are important, but I just want to point out I do have a detailed analysis of every poem, so check out the playlist to make sure you watch the full videos. Now what we're going to look at then to do with war photographer and its use of structure. The first thing is that there is a lot of tight control in the structure, so we have stanzas that consist of six lines, we have a very similar rhyme scheme, and this tight control reflects the war photographer's job to impose order on the chaos of war, to make it palatable. If you think that's what he's ultimately doing, presenting it to us in images that help us to accept what's going on. But this tight control and order contrasts the reality of war, the chaos of war, and there is a conflict between what we would see in the UK of war, the presentation of war in the media, and the reality of war that is presented through this contrasting structure. I also think that rural England being between two full stops, an example of caesura, is really interesting because it shows how in the UK we are separated from the true reality and the true horror of war. And this is further backed up through the use of internal rhyme in the line with tears between the bath and pre-lunch beers, which of course is a quotation I use in my revision songs, so check out my revision songs playlist because this is a key quotation I put in there. And what does it mean? Well, we've got this rhythm, oh sorry, we've got this rhyme within the line, tears and beers, this is internal rhyme, quickens the pace and it represents the speed with which people forget the horrors of war. Finally, the poem has a cyclical structure. We know that it starts with the uh, photographer returning from a trip. It ends with him going back on a trip. And a cyclical structure represents the idea of fate, that everything is inescapable and that this is destined to happen again and again until we truly do understand and recognize and, and come to terms with the real horror of war.